Um, not for our team, no. Was, we, we just knew we were. Um, it was obviously an elimination game, and um, the way we looked at it, it, it didn't matter if it was two one or, or ten three. Um, it's still only one win. You don't get any extra points for for beating them by seven goals. So um, we've obviously dug ourselves a big hole, and we, we just got to chip away at it uh, little by little here. What the team do differently? I mean, everybody shouldered the responsibilities in front of Flurry, but. Um, yeah, I mean, we obviously we didn't give up five breakaways on them, and um, we made it a little bit easier on them. It was uh, I, I know a lot was made of the way he played, and um, probably hasn't played his best. But, but we, we were we were really bad in front of him for the first three games. So I, I think just uh, not allowing the, the, the quality of chances um, that we did in the first three games was big, and um, hopefully he can build on some of that confidence, just making some some routine saves rather than having to make 10 spectacular saves every game. What about the uh, play of this game? He's a guy that's kind of playing a little, not 100% as most guys are at this time, but he seems to give you guys a huge boost in the back end. Yeah, he's, uh, he's a really calming influence when he's in the lineup. You know, he's, uh, he's probably not the flashiest guy in the world, but he's a guy that um, he does everything well, you know, and he, um, his best attributes probably um, his ability to get his shot off and shot through from the point. And, um, obviously, you saw that on the goal last night, and then the one Sid tipped in. But um, yeah, he's uh, this guy. He, he really wanted to get back in the lineup, and if it was a regular season, I'm sure he would have been out for for a little bit longer. So it's good to see uh, see his commitment there and, and his will to play. Brooks, do you think there was was a sense of shock after three games, and if so, do you feel like that's worn off? Like now, you feel like you're in the series. Um, I don't know about shock. I mean, it was. I think it would have been more shock if we had played really well for three games and we were down three nothing. It was um, we were really bad for three games and we were down three nothing. So it was what do you really expect, you know? Um, and then on the flip side of that, I think because we hadn't played well for three games, that gave us um, a reason to be opportunistic going into game four and just saying, wow, like if, if we can actually play halfway decent here, we'll, we'll give ourselves a chance to win. And, um, that's all you can ask for. Um, a, a lot of weird things can happen in a game. And you can all shoot a team 50 to 10, and their goalie can stand on their head, and you deserve to win, but you lose. Um, but the biggest thing you, you, to feel good about yourself, you, you have to give yourself a chance to win. And the, the first three games, you really didn't do that. I think mentality stays the same. Um, you know, we we've got to be a desperate team, um, but we got to play with confidence, and and we have to. Uh, you limit their chances, and uh, we did a better job of that the other night, and, and we got a better result. Is that gut wrenching for you not to be able to be on the ice in last night's game? What, what, what were your emotions as, as you watched everything? Obviously, they were good at the yeah. end of the night. Yeah, uh, well, the first period was tough to watch, obviously, but uh, the guys were, you know, very resilient uh, as we have been all year, and um, obviously, as the game went on, it became easier and easier to watch. At which point did you kind of breathe a little sigh of relief? Was it when you kind of up by four goals, five goals? Or any, is there any sense of relief? Uh, you know, probably, you know, in the third period there, I, um, you know, with the way the way things have been going against us, uh, you never know what, what kind of lead is safe. But, you know, it was clear the guys were playing uh, well and managing the game and, and, and uh, you know, they were limiting chances. And so, you know, it was going to be tough for them. Were you able to get a different perspective up top than you would normally? You know, watching them and maybe seeing something that they've been doing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now I see what they're they're doing on their breakout or something like that. Not really. Um, it, it, it's a, it is a different perspective up there, but I don't I don't necessarily know it's the best place to watch a game. Uh, maybe tactically, but um, you know, it, it's it's so much slower up there, and there's so much you can see so much ice that uh, it's pretty deceiving. So. Um, I don't think it's good to watch too much from up there.